The thing is, there is no pressure on Gareth, none at all. He has achieved greatness. As he look, when years to come, they look back at him as one of the greatest players who's ever come out of Great Britain. He's won everything that he possibly can. I mean, winning the World Cup with Wales might be a bit tricky, but it's it's uh, other than that, he's won everything. He's shown he's he's been one of the top players in the world. So there's no real pressure. He doesn't have to prove himself to anybody. And that he's, but what he has to do is enjoy, I want him to just enjoy himself, enjoy his life. And he's got everything else in life. So let him, have, let him enjoy his last couple of years or whatever in football. actually analyze it, Gareth has been a huge success. He's been probably Britain's most successful export in, in soccer. And so to look at it, just the last bit is a bit unfair. If you look at it over a long period of time, you'd say how wonderful Gareth has done. Um, unfortunately, at the end, well, it's not really the end, because maybe he'll go back next year, we'll see. But at, at, at the moment, to see it's a shame people write so much about this little bit and so little about his whole future. And that's the press's fault. Press don't like to write good things. They only want to write bad things. If you take Ronaldo, I'm not comparing Gareth to Ronaldo, because Ronaldo is very special. But if you look at him and how he's um, approached, how the Portuguese press look right about him, he's a god there. I'm not saying that Gareth is at that level or whatever. I think Gareth is one of the best two or three players in the world. But I, I think if you look at that and then look how the British press have written about him, you can see the difference in in that, and I think that's very wrong. If you actually think how many footballers actually play golf, yeah. what's wrong with that? Yeah, it, it actually helps, and you know, it's a way of relaxing, so they're not missing anything. It's a day off, it's just unbelievable how. They can make a whole thing out of a man playing golf. I think, yeah, I think they're going to see a different Gareth Bale to the boy that left. He's 31 years old and he's a very mature man and his game has matured. So I think they'll see a very a world, world, world class player playing in a very, very good team with a very good coach at the moment. So I think Spurs fans have an exciting time ahead of them, which kills me because I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs>